like a fat boy who loves chocolate cake. Hold on, uh, I'll try to get it on the focus first. Hey, what's up all the camera loving people? Welcome to the Amy Jonju Show, where we talk about super cool cameras and we talk about super cool things. Um, right now, I'm just setting up the finder. And I'm going to set some sheet films up and uh, I'm going to do a tutorial on how you can use the sheet film on a 4.5 uh, format. I mean, there's no real tutorial on the internet, so I'm going to make a video on it. You'll understand it better. And you can check out the view right now. It's pretty cool. And, uh, and we just sun I think oh, it's okay <laughs> with the large format camera you can actually do tilt shifting <laughs> and you can correct the image or actually distort the image and I think I'm gonna distort the image a little bit with large format cameras you can actually um, tilt like this uh, you can actually tilt um, like this as well left and right that's really cool so you get the, the extra sky which you don't want to get I think the, the shift to the tilt and you can tilt it upwards if you wanna downwards and if you don't want to actually tilt the lens you can tilt the back as well so you have a really nice distortion in the image uh, but for now I'm just gonna tilt it sideways a little because it's, uh, it's got some on that make it look more like a toy like kind of image okay before starting I'm gonna waste uh, one piece of sheet film to explain how it actually works inside the camera when it's when you expose light into the film. The Polaroid um, sheet film holder. Have it like that. Uh, so you have like a waste this to show you guys how it actually works inside. Do not um, put it on the wrong direction. Put it in the right direction. Always set it to L before you put the thing in. Loading. Put the we're loading. Okay. So this is how it works. When you put the when you put the film in. And so here, it has to be tight. It has to go in tight. And you actually hear a click sound. And do not do anything here. Do not change anything. And this is how it works. Pull the top part out like that a little. And th there's a negative. Then uh, and then once, and do this inside so so no, that no light goes onto the negative. And then once you take an exposure from the camera, uh, like shutter, you put the you, you put it you put it back to protect the the, ne uh, the negative. Close it nicely, and when you're done, you have to switch this to P. Load and process. There you go. <laughs> and once you're done, pull it. The whole thing comes out, and it's really nice because you have this packed in. So there are two ways you can either develop it at home. This, this is the way you can do it um, if you want to develop it at home. Um, like I said before, push the thing back, and then uh, do not turn to P. Just just do this. Put, um, hold on to R. Release. Take this back and bring it home. And when you're at home, we can um, put this back in, and then and then do the processing. But uh, but, on, but for today, I'm just gonna peel at um, processing, pull it out. And right now, the film, the chemicals and the negative that you just saw, um, is being processed inside in a nice uh, black bag. So uh, you can peel it later. Oh, well, I'll show you. Since since this one's um, oh, oh, super exposed, like. So this is how it looks like inside. Get a nicely tight pack. Um, a nice bag. And then you actually peel it like this. And you get a nice photo. But since you saw me just expose it to light and kill the photo, this is what you get. Uh, well, t I'll be taking a real picture right now and you'll see how it actually turns out. Uh, get the shutter right, get the aperture right. I just did it, so it <laughs> should be okay. Always remember to close the, the lens before you shoot. You don't want it to be exposed. Using light into it for for now. Hold on. Yeah. Uh, close the back. Make sure no light goes in. You can either load the film in first and then put it in, or you can put it in and then load the film. But uh, I'm gonna load the film in first. Always, always remember to put um, this side towards lens side on the front. The, this, Okay. All right. 
put it in. Uh, pull it out lightly, softly. Halfway, don't pull it out all the way, just leave it like that. And you pull up the sugar, and then you wait until the scene appears, and you take a picture. Since uh, the scene is up there, I'm gonna just take a shot. I think it's take taken. Let's put this back. Oops. Come on. And then turn it to pee process. And then peel it, pull it out, and just wait for the magic to happen. Peeling time! Because it's really expired time. Look for the squeeze of your finger in there. Wow. Oh. You get this nice blue image. You see, uh, I, I made a little clip of thing here. Oh, I didn't realize it was so blue. Oh, it's blurred over here, and then it's focused up here, and it's blurred upstairs. Yo! I found this really cool place with uh, a bunch of uh, senpai, and there's a lot. It's, it's actually behind a shoe making shop, and all this old expired different sizes and of uh, shoe molds. And uh, I'm gonna use this art for my camera today and uh, to take a picture. And since I'm using this tilt shift over here, you see it's being tilted like this, um, sideways, and uh, you can see it's tilted like that. I can actually get a, a nice plane instead of uh, having. Uh, one slab of being focused, I get focus, focus like, like that, a focus like that. She can get it in focus. That's all for today's Minjun Show. I'll see you next time. Bye. Quick, I've got this camera. Let's go.